Hello. Hi. Um, sorry, there's been a little technical difficulties, but now we are back online. And today we are going to be painting a lovely flower floral bouquet. So welcome to the YouTube class and let's begin. I am going to be using Hello, hello. I'm Nilofa from Near the Pencil, and today we are going to be painting a bouquet, a watercolor floral bouquet. So let's begin. Um, I am going to be taking a, a print reference from my Pinterest, as it's a really cool pla place to get really nice, lovely references. Um, so yes. Yeah. Um, for colors, we're going to be using some crimson, some lovely blues, and yes, there has to be crimson always, and some purples, lavender, lavenders and purples. 
Okay. So let's begin. Uh, welcome to the YouTube class. So I'm really excited to start off. I'm going to be mixing some. I have this lovely color from Wizard and Newton. Um, it's called as the Rose Rose Door. And when you mix this color with any beautiful red or any any color to be precise, it kind of helps to mute that color, and it's really lovely. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to do a lovely little bouquet, which I have as a over here, like a very small. Lovely bouquet. Say you can say almost looks like a poppy flower bouquet. Not exactly poppy. You keep this lighter. You can paint along with me here. And if you have any questions, you can leave here below in the comment section, and I'll be happy to address it. So, yep. So I'm using some black. And I'm going to mix some blue. And make a nice center. Oh, yeah. Take more rows, door. And uh, make more over here on this side. This time I'm going to make a half petal, then pull. Some petals are going to be going over different direction. Some petals are going to be far in the back. Where I'm going to add some lovely orange color to it so that they have more light in the back. So I'm going to be just a little flicks of brushes. I have like a full basic class on on a skill share where you can go and see how to do step-by-step -step basics of florals that's a really nice helpful class if you are just looking to learn how to paint with florals and especially when it is just one stroke painting one stroke painting is really fun if uh, and uh, very easy to do fairly easy actually where you do not have to worry about sketching or painting or anything For center, I'm going to be using some paints gray, really one of my favorite colors. And uh, you can mix the paints gray with different tones. So here I'm doing one set of flowers and then I'm going to mix it up and do another set of flowers over it. I'm mixing some orange in the red to get a nice peachish color. So now I have like a set of flowers already ready. Now let's try to start putting them together. You can use a uh, sap cream. So I'm going to start using a sap cream. Now. Make sure that your color is not mixed with any other color like we heard.
a flick some uh, green and uh, some red to get a nice set of um, darker tones in the middle of my bouquet. Okay. Let's start putting them together over here so we get a more better idea. Okay. And uh, When you are coming down towards the end of the year to create a nice handle of the bouquet, make sure that it is uh, all tied in together and in a very small closed space. in some gaps with some bouquet uh, flowers or petals just to feel effects of petals I'm taking some purple or uh, lilac color for like a lavender shade color Lavender shaped color for uh, highlights, creating highlights. more colors yeah I like to also shape uh, blend some of the colors sometimes with my half finger itself it's a good um, exercise using your own fingers too doesn't matter So I can already see the bouquet coming along. Well, yeah, I'm gonna do one or two more extra book, uh, extra ones. And in the bottom section, I'm adding some darker tone and some lighter tones to create multiple layers of tones and some layers too to give you a nice shading that there are like different tones of colors and stuff like that. Adding some more of the top. Like I said, I'll mix some purple there.
I'm adding some green to the middle and the outside and trying to create some more of a fuller look. Just go around. I'm using a velvet touch brush. It's a light, thin brush, which gives you a nice effect. Mix a green with some purple and blue to get a nice, to, to get a different, deeper shade look, color. Okay. Add some more different types of leaves. You can let me know in the comments below that what would you like to next learn. We would probably do another one in November. Pro in, uh, in November, we will do another class. And uh, let me know last, last, I think, two weeks ago. Yes, two weeks ago. So uh, last to last Friday, we did a landscape, which was really nice. And uh, yeah, so today we are doing some flowers. We've just joined in. Um, thank you for joining in. And uh, we are painting some bouquets together today. So I'm going to take some brown now and uh, add some more details in the brown itself with using a brown color, giving a little dry, dry leaf effect on the sides. I said I like to use the finger to spread the color really often and and blend it. Works really well, I feel. Whenever I want to create a smudge effect like this over here, how it just helps to um, fill in the space well. So we're almost done. And... Uh, Hi guys, hello Dimple. So yes, I'm almost done. I'm just adding, gonna add some green and smudge it like I do. It's like the nice uh, makeup technique. Yeah, blending with your fingers. Thank you so much. So we're done. And uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, please let me know in the comments that what would you like to do next? And if you like, enjoyed the whole class whole watercolor class and I'm just sign off from here I like to share your work and uh, and subscribe to our channel 
for more such videos and tutorials. All right, um, there are more videos on different watercolor place basics. So please do go and see. And uh, next month in November, we'll be doing another live session. So I hope to see you guys there for the next session. Bye bye, guys. Take care. Thank you.